Hey, Ben Mankiewicz with you. Welcome to TCM, where our night of Jewish-themed stories on screen continues. Up next, we have a sentimental comedy drama that pairs Zero Mostel alongside Harry Belafonte. From United Artists in 1970, The Angel Levine. Based on a story by Bernard Malamud, Mostel stars as a Jewish tailor. He's religious, and his faith is tested by personal hardships. He has to care for his wife, who's sick, as he tries to maintain his business, and that's difficult since he's experiencing health issues of his own. In his troubled state, he prays for happiness, and that's where Harry Belafonte enters the picture as the title character, the Angel Levine. See, it's already funny. The Angel Levine was one of several films Mostel made in the late 1960s and early 70s after gaining career momentum following his performances in a couple of successful comedies, A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum, and The Producers, written and directed by Mel Brooks. Mostel had more than earned a couple of breaks. He'd been blacklisted in Hollywood throughout most of the 1950s, accused of being a communist in the 1930s. Mostel mocked the publicity-seeking hucksters posing as investigating congressmen on the House Committee on Un-American Activities. He was funny, but he was still blacklisted. The Angel Levine was directed by Czechoslovakian filmmaker Jan Kadar. In 1966, Kadar's The Shop on Main Street won the Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film. As for singer-actor Harry Belafonte, not only was the Angel Levine made by his own production company, Belafonte Enterprises, it marked his first film in more than a decade as he'd been focusing on his wildly successful work as a recording artist. From 1970, also with Ida Kaminska, Milo O'Shea, and in cameo roles, Eli Wallach and Ann Jackson, who were married from 1948 until 2014, the Angel Levine. After working together on The Angel Levine, director Jan Kadar offered Zero Mostel a role in one of his next movies, Lies My Father Told Me. But during conferences with Kadar and screenwriter Ted Allen, Mostel made so many suggestions that a frustrated Allen reportedly said to Mostel, Zero, this film is about my childhood, not yours. When Kadar officially offered Mostel the role, Mostel delayed signing the contract, a negotiating ploy designed to get a bigger salary but it cost Mostel dearly. When he arrived on set for the first day of production, Mostel discovered that another actor had been cast in the role. Since the contract was never signed, Kadar was free to recast. Ahead tonight, the movie that won the Oscar for Best Picture of 1977, written by, directed by, and starring Woody Allen with Diane Keaton in the title role. Annie Hall is next on TCM. (laughs) 